Hi there, this is Mr Evans. This video is uh, going to look at um, the first in a series of short videos looking at how to manage human uh, resource performance, how to measure it. So it's this part of the specification here. Uh, I'll have a bit more of a detailed look at it in a moment. Um, so the next few videos are all about how you can measure the performance of the uh, of human resources within an organisation. They're um, KPIs, if you want, key performance indicators that we can measure and they will give us um, some indication of how the workforce is performing. Um, so human resource performance are the methods by which we, uh, an organisation, judge the extent to which their human resources are working effectively and helping the business achieve their corporate objectives. Uh, AQA specify uh, five if you count labour turnover and retention rates as uh, two different calculations. We'll look at that in this video. Uh, and there are a couple of others. Key thing is, uh, it says here you need to be able to calculate them. So you need the formulas for all of these things and you need to uh, be able to interpret these figures and analyse, um, you know, track them over time uh, and explain what they're telling you about an organisation. So labour turnover is the proportion of the workforce who leave an organisation over a period of time. In other words, it's the number of, um, it's the proportion of the workforce who, who um, decide that they're going to leave a business. They, they might uh, resign, they may move on to new jobs. Um, uh, so for whatever reason, it's the number of staff who are leaving divided by the average number of staff times 100. So that would be expressed as a percentage. Very simple example, if you've got a workforce of 10, uh, an average number of 10 people employed over the course of a year, two of those members of staff leave, then you've got a labour turnover of 20%. So how would we interpret that? Well, um, the higher the percentage, the more staff have left the organisation. Um, an increasing level of staff turnover would normally be quite concerning to an organisation. Um, you know, if, if it's going up and uh, it's been trending that way for several years, um, that could be a bit of an issue. It's usually a sign of demotivation, worker dissatisfaction. For some reason, employees don't want to stay within the organisation and are moving on. Um, some labour turnover can be considered positive, so it means bringing in new, new ideas, new talent, um, uh, new people who, who are bringing a fresh pair of eyes to the organisation um, can be really positive and have an impact. So we're not aiming for 0% labour turnover. Um, we'll talk about ideal rates in a minute. Um, obviously, this will have a big impact on recruitment and training costs. So. Um, yeah, the more staff leave, the more money you've got to spend replacing them, training their replacements, etc. Um, in terms of ideal uh, numbers, it's very difficult to set. Say, oh yeah, the, the uh, ideal labour turnover is 10 or 15 or 20%. Um, it will depend on uh, the industry. So some industries like... Um, uh, you know, fast food or uh, maybe coffee shops have a might have a relatively high staff turnover because of the nature of people doing that work. It might be part-time students who, uh, you know, come in and work, you know, during their university holidays or something. So um, they might expect quite a high level of staff turnover, whereas a um, uh, high-tech uh, business may, may have a, a much lower level of staff turnover because... Um, its employees are full-time qualified, etc. Um, I've worked in uh, quite a few London schools. London schools tend to have a higher staff turnover than those uh, schools in uh, kind of uh, rural UK. Um, London tends to attract sort of younger, uh, you know, younger people moving away from town, their, their families coming up to London for a few years and then moving on and that. Um, that does mean that, that London has a higher staff turnover rate than elsewhere. So um, it depends really on the organisation and where it is. 
the opposite of staff turnover, we could call labour retention, and it's the proportion of the workforce who remain employed by an organisation after a period of time. The formula to work it out, the number of staff remaining, divided by the average number of staff times 100. Um, so, oh, so uh, I don't know why I put that in there, but uh, hopefully there you've got um, some uh, idea now about how to calculate and interpret labour turnover figures.